motion is carried. I move now to question number one, the name of the Honourable To Hanare. Mr Speaker, uh, my question is to the Minister of Finance. What reports has he received on the Government's financial position? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, last week the Treasury released the Government's financial statements for the seven months to the end of January. They show the Government's financial position continues to track slightly better than forecast uh, in the half-year update. <clears throat> the, operating balance, the operating balance before gains and losses for the seven months was around half a billion smaller than forecast in December. And the operating balance, including gains from government investment funds, actually shows a surplus of $4.2 billion, reflecting recent strengths in financial markets around $4 billion better than expected. Supplementary question, Honourable Tohanare. Mr Speaker, what were some of the reasons for the slightly better financial results for the seven months to 31 January? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, really the main factor over which we have control uh, has been the control of government spending and the public service and public servants across New Zealand deserve credit for the uh, diligent way in which they have managed uh, government spending such that it is running slightly below uh, what we forecast. The other factor is improving revenue, core crown tax revenue was $486 million above forecast. Are we starting to get some of the benefits of a broad-based broad low rate tax system, which means it's more efficient and is actually taxing a broader range of income? Supplementary question, Honourable Tohanare. Mr Speaker, what approach is the government taking to managing its finances so it remains on track to achieving a surplus in 2014-2015. Honourable Bill Mr. English. Mr Speaker, uh, the approach we've taken is a considered inconsistent change over time on government expenditure. So government departments and services such as health and education have now, uh, for two or three years, had clear uh, constraints within which they're operating. Uh, they've taken the time and the trouble to understand how their delivery of services uh, must change and in, in um, enrolling their staff uh, across the board, particularly frontline staff, in making those changes. This has enabled us to deliver a good restraint on expenditure that will help us get to surplus at the same time as improving the quality of public services. Supplementary question, the Honourable Tohanare. Uh, Mr Speaker, how does the government's financial position compare to the situation faced by other developed countries. Honourable Bill Mr. English. Speaker, uh, we're in a relatively strong position. All developed countries have faced the similar pressures since the onset of the global financial crisis. Uh, however, in many of them, uh, their gross borrowing continues to grow and will grow for quite some time yet. Uh, we, when we reach surplus in 2014-15, uh, then government borrowing will be able to stop increasing. Secondly, we've been able to avoid large-scale uh, drastic changes to our public services, such as we are seeing in Australia, where Australian states uh, have in recent times made tens of thousands of public service servants redundant. We've chosen a more moderate, a more moderate and therefore more successful uh, pathway of change. Question number two. David Shearer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he have confidence in all his ministers? Honourable Bill.